right, right on, on time. time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess you know I'm here to see Othello, right? Indeed I do, yeah. and he's ready for you if you want to cool, head up. Cool. <laughs> Thanks, Olive. Yeah, of course. So, how are things? I can't complain. That's good. I thought you might be... Anxious? Confused? Upset? Those sound like complaints to me. I mean, I didn't say that's how I feel. I'm just trying to guess what you think I should be feeling. I mean, obviously, I met my goals, and I'm still not starting, so... I mean, that's how normal people will feel, I think. Not me, though. I'm good. <clears throat> Is this funny to you, MP? Nope. It's the farthest thing from it. Now, is this something that you want to ask me instead of just staring at me? You've been doing everything right up until this point. Don't start making the wrong kind of waves now. Now, nah, I'm really trying to be as respectful as I can, Othella, but I feel like I've been giving you the truth and you haven't been giving me... You've been giving me nothing from day one. I mean, from my first day with this team, I have done everything that you've asked and you insisted that I follow your lead and I did it, man. I did it. I understand. I didn't pay attention to all the off-course stuff that Phil and, and, and... I understand. Look, these kind of things happen. I'm not happy about it either. I'm not starting, man. Sit down. Let's talk about it. This is just the business, MP. I get that. I get the business part of it. I'm really upset at the fact that you have me sitting here feeling like I'm doing something wrong when all I'm trying to do is help the team. You got people in the front office that can't come to a mutual, mutual decision. We're supposed to be a team, man. Right? You're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I read the room wrong. I appreciate your apology. It's not like me to hold grudges, but we good. I'm good. Just do what Freddie asked for now, all right? I'm gonna see what I can do long term. I'm good. I can do it myself. I can make connections within the community myself. Thank you, though. Very well. Seems like we're on the same page. Anything else? Be good, man. Be good. Okay. I'll see you around. Yeah. MP. Keep your head up. Your time's coming. I promise.
And with every new NBA season, Grant, it's always fun to see which players have a breakout year. NBA is... Do against these guys. Good luck. Thanks, coach. This comes in for Bogdanovich. O'Neal, he's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Thompson. On the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Poole, the sharp shooting backcourt for him. MP is out there with Andre Iguodala. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. Here's Cunningham. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. The Pistons making a switch here. Stewart's checked in. Dominga, he's checked in for the Warriors. DiVincenzo comes in for Stephen Curry. And Cunningham asked to carry a developing Pistons team. Something you'd know about, Grant. Any advice? Just keep working hard, young man. He is on the right track for sure, B.A. I know he will get it done. He loves the game, and he has embraced the challenge of making this team a winner. Releases. That shot is good by O'Neal. Part of MP's appeal when he was drafted was his potential to be a leader, a role his team hopes he'll grow into. Yeah, you heard that about him back in college, that the locker room looked to him. I could definitely see that translating to the league over time. Here's Cunningham. Kaminga pulls it in. The Warriors trailing. MP is screen on Cunningham. Here's Poole. Baseline jumper right on the money. Rock solid screen right there. The defender got completely lost. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Stewart is screen on DiVincenzo. Here's Ivy. Oh, MP with a block. Now Iguodala. Now quiet so far offensively, searching for his first point of the game. Good, and the assist goes to MP. That's what Andre gives you out of the backcourt. Versatility, size, and he competes. He's also a coach out there on the floor. Iguodala against Stewart. Pass to Cunningham. Here's Ivy. Just five to shoot. Back to Cunningham. Fires for three. Gets the three to fall. Cunningham's got five. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. DiVincenzo, pass to Poole. To the middle. Uses the glass on the layup. Pounding it inside early and often, setting a physical tone. Detroit has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. Pass to Ivy. Back to Cunningham. And he's going for the oop here. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Pool, the pass to Iguodala. And that one's good. Pool. Six points for him. That's why Iggy's teammates love him. He's always looking to set them up. Here's Ivy. DiVincenzo covering. Ivy's shot is off. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Oh, and the dunk by MP. They closed the gap over the last few possessions, but can they push through and grab the lead? This is the tricky part, having enough left in the tank to finish the job. Here's Ivy. DiVincenzo covering. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Three seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Stewart, a screen on Kaminga. Diallo passes to Wiseman. And again, the Pistons missing. Cool from long range. And that's not going to go. Well, it's been a high scoring. Your Pistons, 25. 24. Your 
And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, looking at what we've seen from the Pistons, what do you think? You know, they've been relentless in how they attack the paint. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. So on the floor for Golden State to kick off the second quarter. We've got Jermichael Green. Gary Payton the second is out there with Stephen Curry. Then it's MP and it's Wiggins in at the three. The Pistons have been in rebuild mode for a while. They've stockpiled a lot of young talent. This is when things should start to come together. And you know Coach loves seeing his offense operate at this level. Great passing out there. Pass to Bogdanovich. Exactly a screen on Wiggins. Here's Bogdanovich. And too long on the shot. So, Smitty, you think the Pistons are ready to become the bad boys of the league again? <laughs> B.A., they're not really that kind of team. They're built more around offensive firepower, not the defense and rebounding that was their trademark in the old days. Here's O'Neal. Oh, that doesn't go on the chance to tie. Detroit has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. Bogdanovich passes to Cunningham. On the wing, Burks. Pass to Duran. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. They're going to work inside. I like how confident Jalen is from this area. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Some guys just understand how to generate points. He's one of them. Cunningham against Curry. Works for three. The shot comes out, and Golden State will come the other way. And this is their first time matched up with the Pistons this year. And they swept the team last season, got the upper hand, and sustained the momentum. But hey, it's a different season, and anything can happen. Pass to Duran. Now here's Bogdanovich. Bagley sets a screen. Bogdanovich passes to Bagley. And here's Bogdanovich, hounded by Wiggins. Three on the clock. The Pistons need to get one up quick. Oh, MP with a block. Cunningham against Curry. Here's Wiggins. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. Pass to Burks. The three. Pure from three-point range. Burks has got himself on the board with a three there. Beautiful pass. At his size, Cunningham sees the whole floor. O'Neal, they get it again. Wiggins outside. That's good. His first made shot in three attempts. Allowing any room to operate, you know he's going to be aggressive. Already during his young career. Checked in for the war. We're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. The Pistons on top.
Hi, everybody. We've got your favorite segment on tap as we check out how the Eastern Conference is shaping up. Check out the Pistons. They've been one of the bigger disappointments so far in the early going. Some people thought they might be an elite team, and we haven't seen that at all. But the good news is there's still plenty of room and time to turn it around. And now let's talk Golden State. They're in an even matchup through one half of play. They're struggling to nail the shots right now. Selection is a big part of that. They gotta work harder to find quality looks. Yeah, these teams are playing at a faster play, Shaq. I mean, sometimes you gotta slow things down to get your big fellas involved, and you gotta have patience. When you say slow down, do you mean like this? Appreciate you joining us. It's been our distinct pleasure, and I mean that. Let's now take you back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. He's checked in for the Warriors. Peyton comes in for Clay Thompson. Curry passes to Wiggins. O'Neal on the wing. Shoots over Duran. And the Warriors miss again. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. It's Cunningham and Ivy at the one and the two. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Marvin Bagley. And it's Duran in at the five. That's the five on the floor for the Pistons. To the inside. Well, we're into the third quarter. Quarter, just over two and a half minutes played for the lead and it's Cunningham getting it to go Cunningham's got seven and pick and rolls never more prevalent in the league than they are right now and there's always someone the defense has to leave open in those scenarios Grant yeah B.A. you know it's, it's amazing it's such a simple play but it's so difficult to defend especially with the shooting that we now see in the NBA and the great spacing on the floor. It's a play, as you said, every team uses and executes well in their offensive attack. Bagley for three. The Pistons rebound. Knocked away. Payton with it. Picked up by Cunningham. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the Pistons focusing on improving their scoring. Coach Dwayne Casey said, quote, this is an offensive league. In today's game, you've got to be able to shoot the three because you can't make enough twos to win. It's tough to defend the three, so you've got to keep that scoreboard moving. Back to you. Floor spacing at a premium, Allie. Thank you. And there's the screen. Here's Ivy. And there's the drive. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And this is what makes Ivy special, his ability to finish with power at the rim. And here's Curry for three. Offensive rebound, Wiggins. And he banks in the layup. He's got five. Here in the second half, these teams still neck and neck. I really like how each team is matching the other's intensity. Cunningham against Payton. The open shot, Cunningham. It's wide right, hits off the rim. And all quarter long, it's been the same story, inconsistent with this offense. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. Poole, he's checked in for the Warriors. And the Pistons come. Warriors are back. And the Pistons making a change here. Stewart's checked in. Cunningham on the wing. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Jonathan Kaminga. For two for him. Jonathan Kaminga, second personal foul. 
Cunningham against Poole. Cunningham passes to Burks. Stewart is screen on DiVincenzo. Here's Burks. Nice work on defense there by Green. He has the mobility and has the reach to affect shots. Diallo on the wing. Just five on the clock. Second chance shot. Oh, MP with a block. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. The Pistons clear it. Stewart's got his fourth rebound in this one. The Warriors are back to contending for championships. Yes, they are. A testament to their perseverance and belief in themselves. They knew once they got healthy, they would be a threat. Jonathan Kaminga, third national foul, team fifth. Pistons team as they continue to grow. You know, B.A., it's always difficult to predict the limits of a team. But as long as they continue to steadily develop, they could become a unit with playoff potential. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Pistons. O'Neal misses. Detroit has gotten nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Pass to Bogdanovich. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. There's a minute 17 left to play in the third quarter. Poole, the pass to DiVincenzo. Now here's MP, guarded by Wiseman. Here's O'Neal. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. O'Neal's got eight points. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. The Pistons trailing. Cunningham on the wing, guarded by Poole. Inside, here's Wiseman. So it'll be two free throws. O'Neal, first personal foul. That's the athletes in the 22 draft. The youth movement is on, and Detroit is definitely fun to watch. Thompson, he's checked in for Kuminga. DiVincenzo, pass to MP. Back to DiVincenzo. Pull for three. Here's the second effort, and MP finishes inside. O'Neal's got four points this quarter. Back in the day, someone would have blocked him out, but times have changed. Bogdanovich passes to Cunningham. 23 seconds left to play in the third. To the paint. Outside Bogdanovich. And again, the Pistons missing. There's aggressive, and then there's trying to do too much. His scoreless effort is hurting this team. And there's the lob, and MP throws it down. Woo! I just love that alley-oop slam, B.A. Defense disorganized, defense pays. And that does it for the third quarter. Both teams click. Your Pistons, 58. Celebrate every little thing. 63. So on the floor for Golden State. Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. Andre Iguodala out there with MP. And it's Curry in at the one. The offensive rebound. Duran with the bucket. You have to put a body on Duran. He's quick. Ivy comes in for Stewart. They can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. Iguodala, the pass to MP. The kick out, Curry. Pass to Wiggins. Now Thompson. Outside Curry. For three, O'Neal. Again, MP missing. Detroit has gone one for five shooting from the arc here in the fourth. And he lobs it up top. 
throw it down on the line. No shortage of big games in Ivy's college career. Big time shot for him right there. The three from Curry. Second chance effort. And MP with a layup. And the Warriors lead by seven. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. During that break, Coach Dwayne Casey had some advice for his team. He was not pleased with the team's focus, saying, quote, we're being flat out reckless. We have to settle down and tighten things up. No more turnovers. Guys. Allie, thank you. Okay, when you're trying to make a comeback, you can't be hucking up low percentage threes. You have to find a better shot within the offense. Back to Thompson. O'Neal inside. He's against Wiseman. That shot is good by O'Neal. And he was dominant in their last outing. And the same thing here tonight. He is in a terrific groove right now. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Ivy. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Ivy's got four points now in the quarter. MP outside. And the lamp is good off the glass. What a look from Steph Curry. Just shredding defenses with pinpoint passes to open teammates. Takes a step back. They double him with Curry. Out to Bagley. Pass to Ivy. Cunningham outside. The three-pointer off the mark. Well, Grant, this game looks just about over. B.A., all they really need to do is just work that clock, don't turn it over, and this game is a wrap. Here's O'Neal, and a nice finish on the layup. And now it's an 11-point Warrior lead. Ugh, leaving nothing to chance. This run is shutting the door on them. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. No good on the shot. Good work defensively by Wiseman. Outside Bagley. Pass to Ivy. Bagley sets a screen. From deep. Missed it. And so it's the Warriors taking care of business in this one. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Ali LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for watching tonight's game. We'll see you next time. Huge win tonight, really driven by your rim protection. How did you manage to prevent them from getting easy buckets tonight? Thanks, Candace. You know, a lot of people don't know about this team yet. You know, they think we're all about offense. But nah, you know, we're actually all about defense. You know, we're like the 85 Bears. At least that's what my dad tells me. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, you're a little young for Walter Payton. But what motivated you to block so many shots tonight? Uh, Man, my pop was showing me tapes of all of his favorites, man. Akeem Olajuwon, Patrick Ewing. Oh, you ever seen that dude Matumbo? Dude was crazy, man. Like, he would block people's shot and just wag his finger in front of their face. It's wild. Like, I'm trying to get to that level, you know? And I need a signature block pose like that. Great game tonight. You really had to work on the offensive end.
Yeah, you know, man, I was just trying to stay aggressive. You know, my teammates were looking for me on the offensive end. And I just tried to take advantage, look for my shot, and stay hungry on the end of the court. Do you see yourself as the go-to player on this team? Come on, man. You know I do, man. But not because I have a big ego, but because, you know, someone needs to step up and take those big shots. Mm -hmm. Man, I've never been afraid to take responsibility. Great. Thanks, man. Hey, there he is, MP. Ah, oh, Jake, my man. Hey, you have been getting after it out there. I mean, I've been trying. I'm I mean, trying. You're doing more than trying. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I'm impressed. Thanks, man. Oh, uh, I wanted to tell you that you were 100% right. Mm -hmm. Staying in your lane and leading by being yourself, man. That, that right there gave the team a little bit of a jolt and uh, turned some fans' heads in a way. Yeah, you turned one fan's head, that's for sure. I'm beginning to think you are exactly what this team needs. Wow. That's, that right there is powerful, man. <laughs> Yeah, man, don't mention it. Look, I got a, a jet, but I'll be seeing you around. All right. I'll be seeing you soon, man. All right. Took my kids to the ice show last weekend. Oh, yeah? I was up to the top. Oh, it's that right there. Nice game. No, still not as good as the one you It's all in front of me. I just had to go get it. No. Hey. Come I, here. Were you looking to talk? Now. To me? Okay, I'm coming over right now. Sit. Uh, yes, ma'am. Where would you like me to sit? Anywhere? Let me know. Oh my gosh. No, I'm not talking to you. I'm watching my dogs. <laughs> They're. <laughs> you know, Ricky did mention that earlier. Uh, how old is she? <laughs> they, dogs, plural. Sorry. They're basset hounds, and Benny and Bjorn, they're fighting again, as per usual. And then that agitates Frida, so now she went and she stole Agnetha's squeaky, because she's a chewer, she likes to chew, and now she's under the bed. But that's Ulf's spot. And so now Ulf's crammed cool, in there that, with Jonas. That, that sounds like a lot of dogs, but anything you got for me? Oh, yes. Uh, do you remember that little puff piece I was telling you about? No, I don't. It doesn't matter. So okay. I lined something up. All right, you. all right. John. Luck, okay, he is perfect for this. He is nice, he's easy, he's helpful. He's just like my little baby again. Yes, he is. Uh, and he's gonna make you look great. And he's gonna do it today. Once once I give him a call, once because obviously call, it no, is I feel only like, if you think it's a good idea. I feel like idea. you gave him a call already. Yeah, did you or did you not? I just thought, I thought you think it was a good idea. It is a good idea. Obviously. And I appreciate that. Yeah. So, uh, do you always compare us to your dogs or is this something, you know, a new little hobby? Jonas is Ricky, and then Jenny's Mila. <laughs> okay. I'm Benny, and you're Bjorn. But you got a little bit of Frida in you. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, Frida so would. I would, <laughs> I would like to get some more information about this uh, meetup, and I will meet up with John. How's that sound? A true Bjorn. Yeah, you should. Oh, so we are. So good and so weak.